Hey guys, welcome to Farmer Simulator 19 on Marwell Manor. So the horse pack is now out. Of course, this is Friday's video. So you guys already know this. But it means I get to go play. <laughs> so we've got this. Uh, we'll probably leave this here for now, although we do need the forklift down over yonder where we have the truck with four pallets of wool to sell. So we'll jump in the old jalopy here and we'll head down to the store. So I've already got set up as far as buying the Porsche sprayer. I always said as soon as that thing comes out I will be doing a direct swap. I have done that. I haven't got rid of the Amazon Pantera yet. Just remember that. Don't plan on keeping it. Don't want it. It's gone. So we'll uh, sell that off in a minute and minus the money that we get from that. And we'll be keeping, obviously, the horse sprayer. Horse sprayer I'll swap out on Oakfield as well. I had it on Oakfield anyway, so that makes sense. Glad there's no truck behind us. Makes this trip a little, little less painful. At 15 mile an hour, rocket speed. We are just absolutely rocketing a along here. So I hope you get, hope you, hope you, hope you, hope, hope you guys have had a good week. Hopefully you guys have a good Easter because I do believe it is Easter coming up. Not that I think we'd do particularly anything here for it. This is one of those ones for me where it is really just another day of the week. And we are here. I'm kind of worried that this thing is not going to uh, like the the belt, the belt tender. Wow, what did I say, belt under? The seat tender. I just got a horrible suspicion the conveyor belt's going to stick through the cow or something stupid. I know it fits perfectly on the man truck, and that's really what it's designed for. That was nine grand. Nine grand? Nine hundred. Not nine grand. Nice to do some cotton soon, actually. Well, a joke and a sad. Usually I care about actually getting this on the forks properly, but... You know what? It don't matter. So that's almost shy of about two grand there. So we're probably going to get around four grand out of this. Not a lot of money. In the grand scheme of things, not a lot of money. Now, I doubt I'll be able to, but we'll give it a go. Oh, we did it. And from in cap. Get in. Two for one. Happy days. Yeah, so four grand give or take. Oh, no. This is why Follow Me would come into play. I don't know, so you guys will be screaming right now, oh, you should get follow me. I uh -huh, follow me. The, the problem is follow me, and uh, follow me requires the control keys to work on the keyboard, and my control keys do not work.
I know I made the forklift heavier, but lord, do I need to up the engine power? Dang! I may need to actually. May need to. Alright, we'll take our trip back. It's probably where we'll get hung up in cars. Obviously, this thing technically wouldn't be road legal, although it does have. I don't know, it doesn't have indicators. It has lights and brake lights. And obviously, work lights, you guys can you know, see those there. And a beacon. And mirrors. Oh no, it has indicators on the front. But none on the rear. That makes sense. Obviously, it is uh, technically not road legal, I'd say. Technically, I mean, if you're doing very, very short hops from literally one area to the next, as in this case, yeah, maybe the police would bother you. I doubt it, especially if you're out in the country. Well, it's not too f far away. Was oh, that a data plate? Oh, that is too. I'll have a look at that in a minute. It'd be kind of cool to see. Trailer for this, I'll probably just keep down here to be honest with you. I just, I'm worried it's not going to work. Alright, lift this up because I. I want to have a look at that data plate now, I've seen that. Some of the data plates and some of the vehicles, if you guys see them, I recommend looking at them because they're kind of interesting at times. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's all blurred out anyway. Alrighty. Well, I say blurred out. It's not blurred out, but it's uh, not exactly clear. Here is the horse spray, if you guys are wondering. Got GPS on it. Filled it up with spray. Uh, put it in there. So we're starting, basically. As we should. Now, we're done harvesting, so I really could drop this off and leave it off. There's my phone. Uh, what I more than likely would do is I just want to make sure the seed trailer does work, and if it does, then I'll just, you know, if it will attach to this thing, I'll take it back down to the yard. I'm kind of at the point where I'm getting over using the bags. And there's a lot of stutter there. I wonder what's causing that. As much as I like using them, it's just becoming a pain in the ass to every time bring them back and. Stack them up. Enough getting the log. So we'll just bring this here. So it's in the light. Disconnect that. That will buzz around on top of the frame. I'm guessing te uh, 10 T means 10 top. I presume. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh my god. Too high, too low, too off to the side. There we go, magic. It's kind of funny, without trying, it seems like recently a lot of the videos have been having this trucking as one of the predominant things we're sort of doing, whether we're harvesting or whatever, and I'm, I'm honestly not trying to do that. That ladder's new, I don't think I had the ladder before though. Okay, I'm thinking it must be over here. I wonder if they had to move the uh, the points of putting your forks through. And you got one point there which I think is just for rigid rigidity. Porsche branded tires. Are the tires actually branded? Do Porsche actually make their own tires? 
never noticed that before. Huh, that's interesting. change it oh that's right too you've got to disconnect it I forgot because it's locked onto the trailer it's been a while it's been a while Wait, how can I detach the trailer? I don't want to... Oh, Lord. So basically, I'm going to have... Oh, wow, this is all kinds of screwed up. I'm going to have to use the truck to... Connect it to the trailer, if it will even work, which now my luck it won't. To then move it out of the way. Oh wow, please work. What a cluster. What an absolute cluster. Not unless I was missing something, but I kind of want to say, right. I want to say I remember something like that happening on the previous one. I guess now this is on. Oh, this is just like a storage sled sort of thing. Which, another day we can bring back. Uh, the big, big moment of truth. I think it's going to hit the cab person. I think the cab's too tall. Oh yeah, this hooks onto the fifth wheel if memory serves actually. That's the thing, it may not work at all. But I think it this hooks onto the fifth wheel. You know what, that's gonna work beautiful too. Alright, we'll swap this and get the fifth wheel put on. That's right too. Customize, it's going to cost us a grand to do this, I think, as well. Oh, I thought it used to charge us. That's cool. Oh, it's going to work. Nice. That shit looks okay. But it looks kind of uh, <laughs> questionable, but it works. Oh, alrighty. What we'll do here, there is uh,
Get the thumbnail. Again, over the truck, of course, but, well, you guys know this was inevitable. I'm glad it works. It, it doesn't look good. I think we can all agree it doesn't look good. But it works. The man truck is definitely more suited for this. There we go. Jobs are good. Back that up. Now, unfortunately, with us having this connected, I don't think the rear hitch works on the truck anymore. Which is such a shame. Yeah, see, it doesn't. That's another thing that I want to get sorted and fixed. May have to have a word with some people on that one. I was so worried it won't work. I'm glad it does. It doesn't look great. Look underneath, but how? Not really looking up. Jeez, I can't quickly not really looking underneath the whole time. So what we'll do is we'll take this down to the main yard. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put my seed triggers. Maybe down at Rainbow Stores if we can find a spot there, actually. Now, in theory as well, the big, big monumental moment here 70 minutes into the video after faffing around with this stuff I wouldn't say real faffing, we've been selling stuff off too uh, we should be able to you know what, I'm just going to leave this here temporarily we should be able to afford actually you can see the horse spray from here Huh? should be able to afford our combine too which is pretty cool so we'll get this back down to the yard Now, working with and stuff compared to the Amazon, I'm not sure. Let's... Well, let this roll out there. Uh, okay, so if we... It'll be this one. And... Find sprays, which is there. Just 31 miles an hour, 41 meters work and width, holds 4,500 liters. This holds 5,000 litres, goes 37 miles an hour, and is 36 metres width. So it is a smaller working width. But it's more up to date, it's more modern, and it looks better. Is the main point of why I swapped over. Holds, well, 500 litres more as well. Didn't realise the boom was actually that much smaller. Yes, what? 4 metres smaller? Ah, uh, five meters. But this is a much newer looking sprayer. Much nicer looking at sprayer as far as not just looks IRL, I mean talking in-game the way it looks. I'm glad Giants did add the horse, not horse, geez, the Amazon Pantera in the game. But it is not a nice looking machine for this version of the game. It really is not. Now one thing people will need to get used to on this is because it doesn't have four wheel steer into it, it doesn't turn on a dime, although you can blip it on and off, which is my preferred thing. The front wheel steering on this, yeah, the, the angle doesn't seem that good. You get into a tight situation, you need to definitely blip on four wheel steer. Now there's the old spray. Versus new. Alright, so if we go to garage, how much are we going to get from the Pantera? Okay, so what we can do here 
is minus one seven four three five seven. Do that now. That would have minus that. So that, and then we've magically got our money. And oh look, the Pantera has now been moved. Along with the Pantera being moved, that straw bell needs to go too. I always joked saying that straw bell was there because the uh, Pantera leaked. Obviously, just messing around. All right, so that field's good to go. That thing needs seed. Now we do have seeds in the bag and stuff. I don't know if. What have we got? One seed, two fertilizer, or two seed, two fertilizer. I don't know if the seed tender will actually pick up from those big bags. So as we have them, let's try and load them in. I may just have to load them in and be done with it. Or I can't re remember too what this holds as far as uh, how much. I really can't. But I, I do think this is the way to go in seed and seed season. Throw this on the arse end and... Well, I'd like to think that I'd actually be able to reach the damn cedar. I, d I don't think it's going to pick them up from off the ground. I think I am going to need to... Load them in manually. It's taking the seed. Which will size of putting that in there. So probably just I imagine it'll just leave the fertilizer. Oh it took the fertilizer too, sweet. Does this only take 4,000 litres as well? Hmm? That's the thing, if it doesn't take a whole lot, we could still buy the bags. And just load it in up at the store. I don't know, you guys could be the real judge of that one, let me know what to do though. I won't bother putting the seed triggers down. And I'll also ask in the live stream tonight, because we'll be on this map for uh, Thursday's live stream. It'll be interesting to see what you guys say on that, actually. I must hold 8,000 of each. Is it 8,000? If it actually loads in. That could cause issues in a minute. That's probably going to go flying everywhere. That's probably under all wagons. There it is. Ow, I hit my hand off the desk. 10,000 liters combined, so probably 5,000 of each. No, I didn't cause issues. Sweet. Alrighty. We shall go and fill up our horse sprayer. Or horse cedar. Now, do I update the cedar as well? Do I bring in a new cedar? Apart from a horse pack. Not sure on that one. Alright, how does this work? Yeah, let's get the controller actually working on the, that stuff. There we go. So... That's just like normal. Uh, so what is this? Seed, I think. It's working. Well, that's interesting. You can actually see right down. Dang. I don't know if this type of stuff's used to too much in the UK, to be honest with you. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I, I really don't know. And then... 5-2 to fertilizer. Well, that works well. That's why I like this thing. It, do, it just works well. 
And then uh, pull forward and pipe him. Like a so. And the fact it carries both is... This thing is going to be awesome. During seed and season. This really is. This is... The thing I can put this truck to, for me, it's like Flora Farms. If any of you guys have seen any of their stuff. They've got a Unimog. Granted, it's the new shape Unimog, the more rounded style that I can't stand. But they use that for literally anything and everything. They've got custom units they put on the arse end of it. Kind of like that. They use it for a lot of different stuff. And that's why I love Unimogs, is they're so diverse. They can do a lot of different stuff. This truck has ended up being like that. And I was joking around the other night in stream saying, how put three point hitches on it and we'll go plow. Joking, of course. Why is the game stuttering like an absolute animal right now? I wonder if the computer's doing some whacked out updates. I bet it is. Uh, da -da -da -da, nearest waypoint, drive course. No, 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 no. You needed to continue to go forward, I bet. Well, you are on that one, okay. We'll start you from there. I usually back up. I should have realised it was going to be on there. Spot there. There's a waypoint drive course. Oh, okay. That's good to go. Okay, so in theory. If I look at grain, no, of course, save. Look at grain to sell. I think we were out of grain to sell. We should be able to buy our new combine. We've got a little bit of canola, which I'm not too worried about now. Uh, some wheat, which I like saving up for the chickens. Not 30 or 1,000, though. So, yeah. We're good there. So, it's time to wave goodbye to the combine at the header trailer. And, well, actually quite a bit for the combine. Jeez, I forgot we had all that kit for it. Okay, so, we'll go to garage. And big, big thing here, we'll sell off our combine. Yep. I know you can make more if you actually take it there, I think. I think that's still a thing, but you know what, I can't be asked. We'll sell that. Okay, I just ha got worried there, because I didn't see that six, I just thought... For Thought I saw 36,000. I was about to go, what the happened? Uh, get rid of the canola extension first. Then the actual header there. Uh, the header trailer. Oh, where is the header trailer? Still there, okay. We'll keep them now. I say we'll keep for now because I'll probably get the corn header for the ideal and fold it up. The big one I folded up, I think, will fit on this trailer nicely. So we've got 682,293. So, go to Combine Harvesters. Scroll along. So, this is the stock one. I want you guys to remember that. It is just the stock one. GPS system, we want it. Massey Ferguson, I'm going to go with on this one. Keeping it that one. So that's eight, uh, 480 grand right there. So we'll buy that. Yes. So we have 202,000 remaining, basically. So that should be enough to get the header. And then we need to be uh, pretty calm for a little while. Uh, which will be the power flow we'll go with. So I think, oh no, it's a Dynaflex we'll go with. That's the conveyor belt one. Yep. And have that. Does that actually cost to change the design? No, it doesn't. Okay. Jeez. Uh, Massy header. So that's that. Yep. So now we have 124 grand. Again, we can sell some crop if we needed it. Uh, then we'll go down to header trailers, which again, I'll go on the rant as I always do with this. Why Giants didn't put a proper header trailer in for big headers is beyond me. Because this header trailer is not big enough. Yes, I know there's a modded one out there, but it doesn't suit European maps at all. It's an American header trailer through and through. 
Uh, so that's going to be nine and a half grand there. And we're done. We have got our combine. We did it. Although I left the beacon on, on that. So that's awesome. We've managed to do the huge upgrade to the farm. So what's going to be next now we've worked towards that? Honestly, more than likely, more fields is what I want to go with. I want to go down the route of getting more fields and expanding in that respect. Now we've got the combine. We've got an absolute animal of a combine. I will probably, at some point, get more fields. Now, this is another question I'll put to you to keep it interesting, to keep it cool, well, cool, but fun. Should I just basically cheat in the money for the extra fields, or shall we work to way, our way towards them? That is the question I'll put to you all, to you guys, to keep it interesting for everyone. I've been seeing a lot of people, I say a lot of people, but enough people to get me somewhat concerned that people are getting burnt out of this map already. I'm not. I'm enjoying the living crap out of it. I'm not going to put it to bed anytime soon. I ain't put an Oakfield to bed. It's not even out. But kind of wondering where shall we go from now? I'm going to go more fields. Not necessarily bigger fields, but more fields. And well, we're rocking this combine now. I, I did toy with the idea of keeping the old combine. But who's to say that we don't get a classic combine later down the right line? And that could be stored at our other yard, completely separate from the main yard, because the main yard is getting kind of chalked up with stuff stuff now. Okay, we'll drop that onto that. Now, the truck will need to come back and grab the trailer there at some point. Now, if the seed tender or the truck hitch worked with the fifth wheel attached, then I would probably quickly run down with that to bring back the header trailer. Or bring this combine back. Nothing that way. There is, but it's far away. Sweet. Now, I'm just going to need to keep an eye on whenever the vehicles are coming. Actually, for what it's worth, I could switch off vehicles too. I don't want to lose the header. That'd be a pain in the ass. If we lose the header, it may get delivered to the yard. And after we've get, got this to the yard, it's probably where we'll call it quits. Right, vehicle coming. Just like IRL there. Run wide in the middle of the road until you see a vehicle and pull on over. I'm definitely looking forward to getting this beast out in uh, in these fields. Knowing what it's like on Oakfield, it just tears through the crop pretty damn quick, to be fair. Until the header gets warm. And then it's a case of, yeah, good luck. Slow as molasses. Hey. Something that I can't forget to, that we can do, we can always do contract missions too. I just saw that field was ready to harvest, so we could go over there. We've got all the vehicles that we need to do some of the contract stuff, so we could always do that. And let's be honest, we've probably got the biggest and the best machine in the area now. Granted, it's cost us an absolute small fortune. We may have to sell our firstborn, secondborn, and thirdborn. But we got there. So for now, I shall throw ye under here. And if you guys wondered what the thumbnail for the stream is going to be, and you guessed this picture right here. Well, correct. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. We got a lot done. Uh, we've got the seat tender. That works on that old truck. It looks a little funky underneath, but it's 
but hey, it works. Uh, we've got the ideal combine, which is huge. We've been working our ass off to get to that stage, so I'm happy about that. I uh, got rid of the old combine, so that'll free up a bit of uh, stuff around the yard. But let's be honest, the more vehicles you have in a yard, the less FPS you're going to get, and the more your computer's going to chug. Uh, why we were getting a few lag spikes in this video is beyond me. I no reason why we shouldn't, or should. Maybe Steam was updating stuff. I usually close out of Steam, but it's probably that. Now I come to think of it, I think it was doing some stuff, and then I spontaneously loaded it in, looked at the horse stuff, and went, yeah, you know what, I'm going to record. So until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back on Monday for uh, either Oakfield or Marwa. I may flip-flop, of course. It's Easter coming up, so I don't know what that schedule's going to be and how much stuff I'm going to be able to get done. Um, probably going to need to get Monday's video recorded ASAP and Tuesday's video recorded ASAP as well, let alone uh, tomorrow's video. That being said, there may not be a video tomorrow because of all of that. I'm going to need to worry for the main stuff first. So until next time, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later!